Okay, let's do some improvisational comedy. I can't now, Liam. It's a bad um, time. Actually. Let's do some improvisational comedy now. Okay. Give us a scenario. Um, right, okay. Uh, you're a hypochondriac and, and Ricky's a doctor. Excellent. Okay. Knock, knock. Come in. Hello. Oh, no, not you again. I've never been here before. Sorry, I, I thought, because you're a hypochondriac, you would have been to the doctors before. Don't presume. That's a backstory we didn't agree on beforehand. No, I know. That's improv, though, isn't it? You sort of go with the flow. I don't take notes. OK. Can we go again? Yep. Because you ruined that. Sorry. Knock, knock. Come in. Hey. Hi, how's it going? What seems to be the problem? I've contracted AIDS. How did you get that? From an African prostitute. I'm... I'm riddled with it. The prostitutes from an African country that's... that's ravaged by starvation, so... Selling her body was the only financial recourse she had left. Do you mind if I interject Go for on. a second, sir? I just think it's getting quite heavy, this sketch, and I just wonder if perhaps, just for the sake of comedy, you, you might not want to have contracted AIDS from a, an African prostitute, just... Uh -huh. Okay. Right. Knock, knock. Come in. Hi. Hi, what seems to be the problem? As I said before, I've got full-blown AIDS. Right. Do you want to know how I got it? Sure. I'm a well-known homosexual actor. Wow. OK. It was I wouldn't say the name just because of the... I got it from a non-specific actor. Does he know he has AIDS? Who? Again, I just, sorry, I just wouldn't name them. Um, and also, I just think uh, AIDS is, as I said before, just a really heavy subject for comedy. Ah, uh, OK. Mm-hmm. Uh, good and bad, can't you? Uh, yeah. Cancer, though, and AIDS and famine are just not really subjects for comedy. Well, how does he get away with it, then? We don't know. Well, we shouldn't have a doctor in the sketch if I can't talk about AIDS. OK. okay. What do you suggest, then? Oh, um... You're a greengrocer and uh, Ricky comes in to complain. I've played Rob Roy McGregor, Michael Collins, Oscar Schindler, Zeus, for God's sake. No one's going to believe me as a greengrocer. We could change your accent. Lots of actors do that. Well, he doesn't. How does he get away with it? Again, we don't know. Let's just do our own accents and get this done, shall we? OK, greengrocer. Tring. We're closed. I think the shop has to be opened for us to do the sketch. OK. OK, sorry. Tring. Yes? Um, I'd like to make a complaint. Uh -huh. I've, yeah, I bought some fruit here yesterday, and when I got home, some of it was rotten. That's not my fault. Well, you know, it's your shop, and it was sold on your premises, so... Uh-uh. I uh, wasn't here. Uh, it doesn't matter, you know, you've got I to... I was at the doctor's. OK. I've got AIDS. I thought you might have. Yep, that's it. That's really good. Yeah, no. That's gonna, you're gonna storm it, boy. Okay, brilliant. Good luck with that. Well done. Um, don't forget your little list. Yeah. Uh,